Hi everyone, Scott here, and this is the teaser to my full presentation, Caddy's Evolving, the latest in cloud-based mechanical design. Okay, so 3D Creator, uh, just to talk about that just a little bit before we jump in, that's, that's your mechanical design in the cloud. This is like the, it's not SolidWorks, but is the, the closest thing in 3D Experience to mechanical uh, tools that are within SolidWorks. It's created by the same people, very, very similar. Uh, literally, if you know SolidWorks, you could pick this up pretty fast. Uh, 3D Sculptor, everything I just said applies here, except for this is this is the organic. This is like the oh, we're going to have some fun doing some, you know, some prototypes with this. And uh, uh, and that's exactly what I did here. My little case study here is I got this orbital sander and I'll show you the problem that I've been having with it. You'll see a red arrow pop up right before it happens. There it goes. And you'll see the dust, right? So there's a vent on the side of this sander. Uh, it's right on the right. And the problem is, is I'm doing this in my garage. So any woodworking I do during the winter, <laughs> I'm in the garage doing it. Okay, so this brings us to 3D Creator. Now, again, this is in the cloud. This is our mechanical design tools. It's 100% uh, parametric. It's sketch and feature based, just like SolidWorks. Here, I'm going to make a sweep cut, you know, I'd make my, my sketch and throw dimensions on there. Yeah, once I, you know, actually go to, I think I said sweep, it's actually revolve, revolve cut. And I can specify, you know, if I'm going to cut all the way or what um, what I want my parameters to be there. But the thing here is, you know, this is a tool that we can use on any device with a browser, which is huge. This is like technology we've, we've been waiting for forever. I, this is not SolidWorks, but this is a very robust online CAD application. And so the technology is evolving, hence the, the title of this presentation. And so it's getting pretty exciting. And we're just, you know, hitting the, the tip of the iceberg here. There's so much potential. Um, we were talking about cloud cloud computing and 3D 3D CAD uh, without all those hardware requirements. So it's a lot of fun. Okay, 3D Sculptor. 3D Sculptor, it can work on its own, right? You can start from scratch in here because there's some mechanical design tools in there. We can create our sub D, which I'm doing here. This is a cylinder. And you just basically, you know, specify how many points do we want on this thing? How many vertices? Uh, and then we just start molding it like clay. So we could start directly in Sculptor. Uh, in this case, we started in Creator, but we just switched over to the Sculptor UI and able to continue working, right? I could also import a SolidWorks model and do the same thing and, and you know, uh, add to that design and then port that back to SolidWorks. Um, so for instance, if I uh, uh, if I had this whole sander done in SolidWorks instead of Creator, I could have done the exact same process. Could have, you know, ported in the SolidWorks model, went into Sculptor, sculpt my, uh, my little arm that goes around for this vent, uh, and then I could bring that back into SolidWorks. So I could have done this exact same workflow but using SOLIDWORKS and 3D Sculptor, Sculptor instead of 3D Creator and 3D Sculptor. And here is that in action. So I can pick it up and show it blow up, but it doesn't actually happen. So that's right here, right? So yeah, I mean, it works fantastic and it's a, it's a, great, um, it's a great little addition there. So kind of a fun little project, actually functional. And, uh, and I can now sand in the garage during the winter. And let's just show how we would model this from scratch. I'm going to go ahead and start this new model that I'm creating and start sketching right on this existing geometry. And just like in SOLIDWORKS or any other, you know, CAD tool, we would, or most CAD tools, I should say, we can, you know, we can convert the entities of that edge. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, start extruding it. So I'm going to have this adapter going in. Uh, let's say one direction we want it to be like two and a half inches. The other direction, I'm going to do um, two two and a half inches. One direction, but I want to put a I want to put a um, a draft on it, right? So I'll put a three three degrees draft, and we'll go ahead and extrude that. And then when I extrude it, I want to make sure that I'm merging it with the right body, right? I don't want to merge it with the other design, so I'll choose the the first body there. Yeah, then we'll just make another sketch so we can cut through and then reduce that from two and a quarter to one and a quarter. So we can have an adapter for a smaller vacuum, which, uh, which I have as well. And then I want to offset uh, for my wall thickness. So it's going to be 0.15. And then we'll cut that through 
uh, to our body. Okay, so now we'll go ahead and create a uh, create a fillet on that edge. There we go. Ah, uh, chamfer. I'm sorry. And then we'll go ahead and uh, have this uh, this adapter. And uh, yeah, and now we have our our finished design. Thank you so much for watching. If you would like to dive deeper into this presentation for Caddies Evolving, the latest in cloud-based mechanical design, click the link below for the full session.